something that would be a transfer along with Taylor. Okay. And her form, of course. And have you done this before? No. Places to pay attention to will be when they're loading the embryo into the catheter. That monitor will you get to watch that. Oh wow. And then cool. on the ultrasound screen, you will um, hopefully be able to see like a white bubble, which is will, will be right here. We're in the embryo transfer realm. Hopefully this is the last time we're in here. The embryo transfer happened to be in the same area that Stephen and I grew up. Once we left the hospital, we noticed that there was this amazing sunset. And Stephen was so sweet, he decided to take me down to the beach so that we could watch the sunset. We just stood there and looked out into the waves and watched the surfers and just looked up at this amazing sunset that just felt like it meant something. Stephen did ask me on our first date on the beach, on the sand. That beach, like in the right South Bay. On the other side of that building. It just seemed like this really full circle moment. And I really just thought to myself, how could this not be it? This has to be it. Back home. Why is your mom so happy? Because <laughs> your wife has an embryo in her. <laughs> After the embryo transfer, we had to wait 11 days before we could find out if it worked. And I remember just thinking, you have to keep yourself busy doing the things that you love and be positive. So... I would draw with my mom, and again, I was just putting it into the universe, drawing a silhouette of what I would imagine myself looking like pregnant. Stephen and I would just garden. So many of my trees and plants mark such huge moments in this journey, it's insane. <laughs> Look at all the stuff I got. What can make me feel this way? My garden. <laughs> the whole garden basically marks this journey honestly, and we just uh, waited. I'm anxious. Big day for us tomorrow, but we're just taking it easy tonight, watching uh, some Disney movies, cuddling up with the dogs. Um, Good night. Hopefully I sleep. I'll help you sleep. I'm going through my DMs and I got a DM from someone and it's almost as if they know like exactly how I'm feeling right now and it it makes me feel so much better but also it just trips me out but I'm gonna read it to you guys I hope you're having a good day today but I also want you to know that it's okay if you're not you are strong and powerful you are going through one of the hardest things a person can go through and you are inspiring and so loved yeah. It's almost like, and it literally was just sent five minutes ago, and it's almost like, how do you know, you know, like, how? I've never in my whole career on YouTube and Instagram felt more supported than I do through this journey, like, 
it's crazy like how much power positive words can have when you need it the most from people that some people you've never even met to catch you up today we're going in the doctor we're getting a blood test to see if the embryo stuck if we are with baby so if we are with baby so it's a big big day big day i haven't slept in days Lots of emotions. Which is probably not good for me, but like I can't sleep. You have to take the blood test and then sit around and wait for these results. Like, just knock me out. You're just give me like something. <laughs> you need some just, more of that drugs. Just give me something. Just knock me out until you have the news, you know? <laughs> just let me sleep. I just can't wait until the results come in. Like, it's just too much. During the 11 day wait, they actually let you know that you can take a at home pregnancy test if you're feeling a little anxious and you wanna get some results sooner before the blood. However, it's not guaranteed that it's going to be as accurate as a blood test. But it's not accurate because you're already pumped full of so many different hormones. You have so many hormones that your body could mistake, it could do a false negative, a false positive. But I watched somebody's video the other day and she had done a pregnancy test every single day. And I just can't do that to myself. Like, I just can't. I think that would kill you more. She even asked me, she's like, did you take a pregnancy test? And I'm like, no, I can't. I'd rather just wait as long as I can. Like for me, ignorance is bliss at this point and like not knowing it still gives me hope for like a few more days. You know, I keep thinking about this kid, man. And I keep thinking, like, this kid is gonna tell me they hate me one day. <laughs> you can't think like one, that. No, they will. It's true. It's inevitable. Okay, yeah. at one point, you tell your parents, like, I hate you. You be you little shit. And I am going to remember <laughs> this moment right now. Between <laughs> 2 and 3 o'clock. Okay. How are you feeling? I'm nervous. Hormones, what are you doing? Oh. I know your emotion. Don't, don't even get me. <laughs> look at me. Don't even get me started. Okay, look at me. Any fresh tenderness? Yes. A lot. Cramping? A little bit, which makes me nervous. Is that bad? No. It's not bad. A little cramping here and there. Like, not a lot, but just every once in a while, I'm like, oh, it's bad. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And my boobs hurt a lot. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a mess. I know. Sorry. Okay. I know the hormones. They get emails. They do. I'm like, who is this? <laughs> it's like I don't even know my. I don't. <laughs> the blood test day for me was extremely nerve wracking and it almost made me reserve in my emotions because I was extremely excited. You know, this is something that we've been waiting for. We took the blood and now we gotta go home and we gotta wait. And I just wanted to be really excited about everything, but I also wanted to be very reserved in my emotions because I didn't want to get overexcited to where what if it was negative news. Uh, good luck, Starburst. Yeah. If these Starburst were good luck, bitch, I would have been the luckiest person on this planet right now. Well, very good luck today. <laughs> I just keep telling myself, like, if it's a no, I don't know. It's I don't know. No. It's not gonna be a no, it's gonna be a yes. Oh my god. I don't even know what a yes would feel like. Part of me just wants to start crying right now. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'll break down for both, probably, so. I'll be ready. What kind of comfort do you need? You need comfort like men chip ice cream? The only thing you could possibly get me that would make me happy is Giorgio's pizza. Whoa. And it's so far. I do it. Giorgio's about to get a fat delivery tip. <laughs> How much would it take for you to deliver? <laughs> 45 minutes away. What's your mantra? What will be, will be. What will be, will be. As difficult as this journey has been, I feel that Steven and I really grew together. I mean, when we first started dating, we were babies. Then we were babies who wanted a baby. <laughs> really? Are you serious? Yeah. And that wasn't the path for us at the time. And that's okay. I understand that now. 
This journey has been so long. It's been six years and with every single needle, every single breakdown, medication, it honestly brought us so much closer. If I didn't think I loved him enough before, I love him so much more now. He was truly by my side through all of this and it tested our relationship. It was the ultimate test and we came out of it stronger and I know that whatever the results are, we're gonna be okay and we're gonna get through it and I'm okay with that. Hey, Steven? Yes? Hey, it's Jamie. Is Betsy there with you? Yes. Hi, I'm calling you with your test results. Hi. Hi, your HCG test is positive. Congratulations. <laughs> Why are you guys scare us like that, girl? <laughs> I'm so shocked. The squad's having a baby. <laughs> oh my god. It's too hot. <laughs> John. Hi. Hi, Kishi. Hi, my love. I hope you're ready to be an uncle soon. <laughs> I love you guys. Happy, 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 yeah, I mean, I'm worried. I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy. you guys since the big announcement since the, the last video they saw we were sitting on the couch and we got the good news yeah so. i was like dying you guys that day i spent the rest of the day crying and <laughs> all my eyelash extensions are gone they did not survive and the like, news the only people we've really told are just like close family the people that actually know the date that we went they know and like the everything idea. we're doing so it's like they're tracking it just like us so it's like we can't not tell like mom and dad and all of that i know it's still scary though because you don't want to i mean in a normal pregnancy you don't tell people so like i know way way into it so i don't know i decided that i'm going to celebrate this victory you know even hearing the words that you are pregnant 
is something that we've been waiting to hear for six years. Like yeah. that is such great news. And instead of being nervous about it, like obviously I do feel slightly nervous. Like every appointment, we're going into appointment right now. Every appointment actually like makes me feel a little nervous. But up until the appointments, I'm celebrating the news yeah. and I'm like so happy. This will be an ultrasound to make sure that everything's in the right place. Growing in the right place. Um, so nothing, not like the heartbeat ultrasound yet. That's coming up, I think, next, in a week from yeah. now? Two weeks. Two weeks from now. Really? I thought we'd so. go before we leave. Oh yeah, it's right before we leave. Yeah, oh, you're wrong. Shit. I'm right. One week. <laughs> <laughs> What's new? That's like the one that I'm really going to be clenching my booty for. Yeah. Like. Now, if you look closely inside there, there's a little, there's a white circle. Yeah, I see that. That's a nice thing to see today. Too early to see a baby, but those are, that's everything we want to see. Oh, yay. <laughs> there, were two of those, there would be twins, and there's not, there's only one. Okay. okay. Looks wonderful. Congratulations! Okay. <laughs> Next week we'll see heartbeat. Oh, okay. Dr. Okay. Wilson's the only one that does that. Oh, that's so <laughs> There's nothing more perfect than this. Oh, good. Another small victory. Another huh? victory. <laughs> Oh, huge victories, all of them. There you go. Oh. <laughs> it's only a little circle, I'm already crying. <laughs> so when we first came to the office, I read this, expect to expect, and I cried because I felt like it was so far off for me, you know? Mm -hmm. like, like it was never gonna happen for me, but that gave me hope, like just those words, and now, we have a little book right and it has our little circle. <laughs> little circle. <laughs> There's our little baby right there. 5.5 mm -hmm. weeks. Oh my god. And it's so cute. It says it says wide home for the first Perkins baby to be. <laughs> Dang. It really got me. That did. It really got me, Steven. Oh god, honestly, like. I can't even explain my happiness. I just feel like the whole experience with them has been really, really like... It's been good and... Good, yeah. and I feel like, I know I say this every time, but honestly, all the nurses there make me feel like family and they're just Aww. so, like, ev like everyone just right now, like when you walk through, like, is like cheering us, cheering for us, and they were like hugging us, telling us how happy they were, and it just feels like, it's just nice to feel that comfort when you go there. And, I'm gonna be actually sad when I don't. I know. When oh, I'm not shit. there anymore. Next week it might, might be our last appointment. I can't. Like I'm just so sad to leave. Like those nurses. Like I wish they were my nurses through my whole pregnancy. Yeah. Like I'm about to invite those nurses to my baby shower. <laughs> I'm not joking. I'm serious. Like they are everything. And gosh, like the best, Jamie. Oh, this is so now that you're pregnant. This is happening. I'm about to be funny. <laughs> you're about to be a dad. It's gonna be so great. We're gonna have a shit ton of dogs and just oh my like gosh. babies yeah. and I can't believe this is happening. This is it's almost like I don't I don't I can't even put it into words like when you've wanted something for so long and then so it's just long. like and then we have it. It's, here. it's like it's almost like someone's lying or you're dreaming or like someone's lying to you or you're just like what? Hey, it's not a dream. I know. It's real. There you go, baby. It's so cute. What's it baby. say? Give me a kiss, baby. We have Ariel here. Your baby's as big as a sweet pea, six weeks pregnant. Perkins oh. Produce. Perkins Produce. Straight from the garden. This is also Perkins Produce. Look at oh, all this food God, around me. Produce. They're carrots, though. It's good food. Carrots. Even after the embryo transfer, the progesterone shots continue. And when you do IVF, they will continue for as long as each person needs to hold a viable pregnancy on their own. Um, this can vary from person to person. So Stephen and I were still out here doing the shots every day, wherever we needed to. All right, so we were in an, uh, an event and uh, we're 30 minutes past our shot time. 
you gotta get the shot in wherever you can. We're on the side of the street. I don't know, we're in downtown LA. We are in downtown LA. Spot right yeah. here? Here we go. Oh, Samania. And that's it. Is that my bleeding? Nope, no blood. You can put your pants back up. <sighs> Mission complete. That's our first uh, mobile shot. Say hi, Mom. Hi. We have Mom with us today. Today is a big day for us here. It's the day we get to hear the heartbeat. I want to throw up just saying it because I'm so nervous. Uh, uh, I literally feel like throwing up today. The last time Steven and I had this appointment didn't go so well, so it's a little, it's a tough one, but I mean, I have positive thoughts, but I can't help but have anxiety right now. Like I have anxiety. I'm nervous as always, like you said, six years ago. I think this was a not the best day for us. I think that we have, uh, you know, we're in a really good place, positive place. I think everything's been going really well, and I'm I'm looking forward to another day of great news. I got my lash extensions done yesterday. Big mistake. <laughs> they <laughs> Big. Said, they said no don't water. Don't wet your lashes for 24 hours. I'm about to be crying. Either way, I'm crying. So luckily, it was at 10:30 when you got them done, and our appointment's at 10:30, so that's exactly 24, 24 hours. hours. <laughs> I think we're gonna be good. I don't know. That's it, that's all I got. Alright, that's all we need. Good vibes. Good vibes. Good vibes, everybody. Yes. <laughs> uh, you know, last week we saw that circle. Perfect. Okay, that's all we wanted to see. Today I want to see it grow. Okay. Okay, and with growth, we might even see a heartbeat. Oh, okay. we might? Yeah, we sure. should be able to. Should be able to. Okay. You guys are going down the sound screen, right? Yeah. Okay. Alright, take a look here. So here's the pregnancy. Congratulations. Let me zoom in so you can see what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, so it definitely has grown. Okay. okay. And do you see kind of this little flicker? flicker. Oh, see that little flicker? Yeah. yeah. So take a look here. So right here is the heartbeat. Can you see it? Flicker, flicker, yeah. flicker. Congratulations. Thank okay. you. <laughs> so, so everything is perfect. Okay. So first of all, this is the sack that got bigger. Remember, this was just 10 millimeters before. And so now this has grown nicely. Now it's measuring 17, grows a millimeter a day. Your embryo, your baby, is this right here? See this right here? Yeah. So this has grown nicely, it's measuring 6.4. Okay, perfect for like six and a half weeks. Okay, you did it. Amazing. Okay. <laughs> Amazing, okay. This is what we've been so patient and waiting a long time for. And everything looks great, okay. One more time, because it never gets old. You see the heartbeat right there? Mom, do you see it too? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Pregnant, Will. You're pregnant. Another happy day. Oh. <laughs> Saw a little flicker today. Oh, How do you so feel? Much relief. Still feel oh, like throwing up? No. <laughs> <laughs> I instantly so feel calm again. Good. Oh. Love you. Happy you're here, Mom. So take a look here. This is the head over here. Uh -huh. Heart buds, leg buds. Okay. Can you feel that? <laughs> and you see the heartbeat right there? Super yeah, easy to see. Oh my god. Okay, but not only look at it. Okay. Oh my god. Congratulations. <laughs> just wanted you guys to know that May 9th was when I first told Steven I was pregnant years and years and years ago and today is actually May 9th while we are sitting here filming this to share with you that we are pregnant that's, a, that's insane <laughs> <laughs> I love you baby I'm free <laughs> Stop hiding on Instagram. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> wow. I love you, baby. 